So again, I quickly just want to do a comparison for you guys with the test before and the test after. So let me create a new vertical tab group. And then where's our test? Awesome. So this is the test before right here on the left. And over here is the test after. Okay. You guys can see how much shorter it is, right? The actual logic of the test is three lines long. Here it's 14 lines long, obviously with spaces. So it's about 10 lines long here, the actual logic. So it's significantly shorter, which is already awesome. It makes maintenance much less easier, but that's not the only amazing factor about it. Another amazing fact about this is that all the things that can possibly break have been abstracted out to a higher level. So things like URLs, right? These identifiers, all of these identifiers for each of our three elements. And even we're not looking for the login error in this test, but we're looking for the my membership pages at method. So all three, all four of those identifiers have been abstracted out to their appropriate page. So now we have two tests utilizing this logic right here, correct? And so if we needed to modify like this or this or this, all we have to do is go to the login page. I'm going to F12 into it. And now we can come here and update everything that we need right here in one place, the login method. And this login method, because it's used, look, in two places, two references, it is going to be updated in those two references. If we need to update the go to method, same thing. If you, our URL changes for whatever reason, and I've seen a lot of URL changes and I've seen a lot of element changes. So it's going to happen if you're working at a nice progressive company that's constantly improving, even the companies that aren't improving, they make changes too. So it's going to happen no matter what. The question is, are you going to be ready to handle such a change in a graceful manner? Or are you going to stumble through it and have a code change really impact your work? So with this page object model framework and this framework in general, it will allow you to handle all those changes very gracefully. And that's the beauty about it. By the way, I'm doing this with control tab. I can go to any page that I want control tab and just tab through it. So that's how I was able to get back to this page. Anyways, the other thing to notice here is how readable this test is compared to this other test, right? Again, it's basically a requirement specification for you right here about what the functionality should do in that if you have an invalid username and a valid password, you should not be able to log in. This is a little bit more dirty and harder to read and always keep in mind that these tests right here are easy. This is an easy test. What if you had a nice long end to end test that you had to automate? Or what if there was many more lines of code, deciphering it and reading it would be much harder. And then you multiply that by hundreds and thousands of tests. Your job will become extremely hard. Not only do you have to read and decipher all the tests, you have to also maintain them. And that is the goal so that you can easily scale out as time goes by. Because writing this test right here on the left, it wasn't that hard either. But writing it over and over and over again every single day for as long as you have your job, that is what makes it really hard. And that's where a technique like this makes your job easier and maintainable, sustainable. This on the left is not sustainable. So that's why I'm teaching you guys the proper way so you can do it right for the rest of your lives.